Hey everybody, thanks for coming fishing with me today. I'm out here on uh, Lake Darbone again, catching some crappie in some really shallow water. Here it goes. If you see these two open water crappie that were just swimming through right here, I kind of targeted those. There they go. My original targets were on the bottom there, but when I saw those two coming by, I just let it drift right down to them and they, they smacked it. That's a, that's a good one right there. Good eating size crappie so <laughs> i went out here today in my old boat uh just because I, I felt like i haven't been fishing out of it much and i, I like it on on lake darbone anyway because it's it's smaller and easier to maneuver and my motor wouldn't crank so <laughs> this whole this whole video and i did really good on oh i remember this this is not so i was scared this might not be a crappie um and it's not you see the waves moving you see the shape of it that's not a crappie. Um, yeah, there <laughs> there it goes. It's not biting like a crappie either. Yeah, so I, I'm always scared. I know a lot of guys, um, you know, they, they can fish on the off the bottom in a lot of lakes, and a lot of the bottom marks will be crappie. <clears throat> it, there are crappie on the bottom here too, but I, I swear like a, a third or half the time the fish that I catch are these right here, and it's freshwater drum. Um, or Gasper Goo, uh, it's what locally we, we call them, uh, it, it's a drum. Um, that's what this was, it's a big one, they're, they're fun to fight, but you know, I don't eat them, that's not what I'm targeting, but it, about, like I said, about half the time, whatever I'm catching off the bottom, if it's a good mark, it's going to be one of those guys right there. Now, this past fall, I, I caught several that were not on the bottom, that was a little strange, but usually when I catch those, they're sitting right on the bottom. Here, go right over this little brush pile. This was a good brush pile. Oh, there he goes. We got him. This was a great brush pile. I sat here for a long time. I caught a lot of fish off this pile right here. Look at that one. He's all, he's dark color. He's got a lot of dark, all these males are, they all know what time it is. Get that dark, dark color to them right now. <laughs> but this was a fun brush pile right here. Like I, like I said, I, I sat right here for a long time and it was just one cast after the other and you can see the clock up there at the top left and so you can kind of watch and see it's you know it, there was not much time passing between each catch right here and so y'all notice I you know I, I didn't see that fish so the boat moved in a way that I couldn't see him on live scope but I couldn't reach down and you know and move the pole so but I knew you know, I knew I was still lined up, and so I just kept reeling real slow um, and just waited for that thump. And there it is, right there. <laughs> There's the big, oh, and that's a good one, 14. I caught three different 14-inch fish today. So that's number one, but there's two more coming. A big, big fish were all over the place. But, uh, oh, here we go. Again, I lost sight of it. You see that? Because I was moving around, I, I didn't see that fish. You know, I just, I just, you know, I knew where the brush was. I knew there's fish all around it. So, you get your jig in the right area. It's it's that time of year, right? You don't have to be targeting a specific fish or you know being right on them. You get it in the area, and they're gonna slam it. Um, and that's what I was doing here. I was just kind of <laughs> getting it around the brush and reeling it on in. Just like I did last year, before I had this thing, you know, I'd find a brush pile and throw a jig on it, and there, there he goes, right there. <laughs> Case in point, <laughs> they're they're aggressive this time of year. Now, fall, winter, they slow down. They're not, you know, hitting it like this. But right now, you get it. Oh, it's a tiny one. Right now, you get it close, and they're on it. It's a fun time of year to be doing this kind of fishing. But my motor wouldn't crank, so I only had trolling motor. So this whole video was made in like within two or three hundred yards of the boat ramp. So I stayed real close to the boat ramp today and just moseyed around. It took me about forty minutes to figure out the depth they were at and you know, kind of the location. This oh, okay, this was the start of something bad right here. You saw that? So I missed that one. I had him hooked. Lost him. Okay. All right. Here we come down to this other one. Got him hooked. He came off. 
That's two in a row. You look at that clock. It's 12.15. So this all happens real quick. I lose. All right, here's, here's another one. Come right over this one. He looks small. I got him hooked up. And he comes off. That was a tiny one, but yeah, I'd lost three fish right here in like 10 minutes. And look, it's, it's 12, 16. So this is, you know, all within just a few minutes of each other. Um, I'm getting all these hookups, but I'm losing them. And so this one, same thing. All right. Got him. I thought I had, and he came off too. So that's four in a row that I lost right there. So I, I pulled it up after that. Um, you know, I'd already kind of looked at my jig after I lost two of them and, you know, it looked okay. But whenever I pulled it up after that, I, I said, all right, I got to change jigs. And when I did, I realized that that hook for whatever reason was not sharp. Um, it, I had just lost one before that, but that was a brand new jig. So I thought it was going to be okay, but for whatever, it was not sharp at all. So I changed jigs and I had no more issues the rest of the day with losing fish, but that was, you know, that was just a bad jig. Um, that jig head was dull as can be. Yeah, this is the first one on the new jig head, so <laughs> no issues with him. But yeah, I, I was so worried that uh, I was I was not when that motor wouldn't crank. I uh, I was so worried I was gonna have a bad day out here because the spot I really wanted to go to. Oh, look at that one. That's a big fish. That's a really that's. That's a big mark. You guys saw him when he stretched out. He almost filled up that whole square. Yeah, I, I'm about to grab the net for this one too. Yep. <laughs> but I was so worried that I was going to have a bad day because I couldn't get to where I wanted to go. But this, I think I wound up catching more fish here and better quality fish here than I would have caught where I was going to go. Look at that. That's a big one. Yeah, I, and I know a lot of you guys don't, that's a that's a really good fish. I think this is the other one of the other fourteen inchers right here. I'm pretty sure. Yep, he is. <laughs> and so uh, you know, a lot of all you guys up north, you know, you don't catch fish this size hardly ever. And so I I've talked to a few guys that you know, like man, you are so fortunate to live somewhere you can catch these size fish. But if you come down visit Lake Darbon, you will catch plenty of really big fish especially if you actually go out targeting them as opposed to doing what i'm doing and just trying to get, trying to fill up the ice chest for a fish fry oh that's not a that's not a crappie y'all saw him side <laughs> that that's not a crappie that's a i think this is the one of the yeah this is the blue cat so i want to catch in three catfish today on jigs and uh i caught that that big um drum also but several fish that were not crappie i did not catch any bass i i went after a few bass i take that back i did catch a small striper like a tiny striper but um no large mouths today i, I targeted a few also i had a you see that bass pole over there on my left i i went after a few uh a few large mouths, but I could not get any to, to cooperate. That's a, a blue cat. So <laughs> it's actually my daughter's favorite fish to eat. I don't understand why, but she likes blue cats better than she likes, uh, better than she likes crappie. I, despite my best efforts to change her mind, that's, that's what she likes to eat the best. So I always keep them when I do catch them. Oh, there's another one. Man, this was fun. Like I, like I said, I, the motor didn't crank, so I was real worried today was going to be a bust, but it took me a little while to find some spots. But once I figured out where they were, that, you know, I, I just hung over this. The whole video, again, uh, maybe a 100-yard area, um, a little circle. I just kind of went around and, you know, would find little brush or little sticks and stuff they were holding on and and get after them. And a lot of them, some of them were in just open water, just floating around. It is it is that time of year. And uh, so I'm, oh, there they come. There he goes. 
That's a good one. And so uh, I think I want about catching like 20 or 25 fish today. I stopped whenever I hit my seventh. That was 12 inches or more. That's the limit here. Uh, you can keep seven fish that are 12 or more inches. And so after I hit that, I, I quit and hung it up for the day. I think I had 20 or 25 fish, something like that in the ice chest. Um, but my brother and I went out two days after this, and we went to a different lake, and uh, we caught 58, 58 in like six hours. Maybe less than that, because we kind of, you know, tootled around and uh, drove the boat around for a little while, but it was 58 fish, uh, and we could have caught more. We we stopped at like pretty early, but they were, it was almost comical. Like, I wish I'd had a camera with me that day, because every cast all it was odd to have a, a a few casts where you didn't catch one that day they were just everywhere but i'm gonna go back out and try to do that again and maybe bring the camera with me because that was that was a wild day one of the better days of fishing i've ever had although this <laughs> this day wasn't too bad either you guys see i mean i'm loading up on lots of big fish here darbon just has they have huge fish here in darbon Look at that big guy down there. There he goes. He snapped at it. And there were so many fish everywhere that, you know, I'd, I'd target one and then wind up going for a different one. And, you know, usually wind up catching a different one than the one I was targeting just because there's so many marks to, to kind of choose from down there. Oh, look at these. These open water fish. Good setup, too, where I can target this one. If he doesn't bite it, go for the one right below him, right? And... Yep, the one below him is the one that got it. So I missed that that first one, got that second one. That was a big mark too. This I don't know. This may have been one of the thirteens. All the big fish today, there were none that were like, you know, right at twelve. They were like thirteen, fourteen inches. Like all the big ones, they were good size. None, you know, no real monsters today, but. Those 14s, I'm still, I'm still real proud of. That's, those are big fish. That's a good one there. Man, this is fun. Hey, I'm so glad the weather's finally getting nice. Where we, I can get out here without bundling up. I'd, I'd really like to go out to the, uh, the river again real soon and chase after some bigger fish. But man, our water here has been so high lately that I cannot get out there. Um, it's when I say high, I mean like the last time I went out there, it was about 15 feet lower than what it is right now, and it was high even then. Oh, that's a good fish. Well, he raced out of there after it. That might not be a good fish. Those that I found a lot of those those little ones will jump out. Nah, he was okay. I I didn't hold him up. A lot of times, <laughs> if you see me not hold, if you see me and I don't hold the fish up. I'm usually not as proud of those. <laughs> That's usually the the eight or nine inch fish where I'm like, ah, maybe not hold this one up. Let's just throw him in the ice chest real quick. That's usually what I'm doing there. The proud ones I'll hold up, but the you know the eight nine inch fish I'll just throw those in real quick. Like yeah, here he is. That's probably one of those just eating size fish. The ones that that one's kind of dark color to them. I like catching those that are, you know, it's always, I see some guys that catch ones that just look almost black sometimes, and I've, I've never caught one that's, that's as dark as some of them I've seen, so, but they are getting really, really dark here right now. Look at this, so I'm targeting this one right here, sitting on the bottom. He didn't take it, so now I'm going to come up and see if I can get something in this brush pile interested, because I got nothing I'm targeting exactly right now, I'm just kind of fishing and there comes one he was up above it and he came down and just happened to oh he's tiny though that one's yeah <laughs> a little bitty but that, that you know that's what you do sometimes you may not even see a fish you know if you, if you miss your target but you're still close to brush just just throw it over the brush you know that's there's fish in there a lot of times they, they're everywhere they're everywhere. There's one. That's a good fish. 
but yeah, really good. And it's uh, y'all notice I don't have the two dots that I usually do. I do not have a weight on here today. It's so shallow that you know I just if you put a weight on there in this shallow of water, you're not gonna be able to present your jig nearly as good. Um, you could put maybe a slip bobber or something like that up there if you wanted to try and. But anyway, you just don't need a weight whenever it's this shallow. You're gonna sink, you know, to that eight foot depth that you're hanging around so quick that uh, any kind of weight on there is gonna kind of throw you off. I'm right above this. I think I missed my original targets, but here I am again, just kind of bobbing around the brush, hoping something sees it. And there he is. Oh, that's not a that's not a crappie though. <laughs> something saw it but it wasn't a crappie this is another one of those catfish man look at that no, and none of these catfish were big like I, you know one one and a half pound catfish probably uh but man they they put up a fight they will they will bend your pole over pretty good oh that's a channel cat that's not a that's not a blue cat, but he's. St I still kept him. We eat them all. I had a. This was on a Friday, and I had a fish fry coming up. Uh, the Saturday, I think I cooked fish the Saturday, or maybe the Sunday after this, and so I kept everything that was eaten size and legal that we could. And as soon as I hit that seven, I knew I. I, I already had enough fish anyway for the fish fry, but um, I'm glad I kept a few extra. Oh, I remember this. This is that stump. Yeah, this is a big fish here. I don't think this was one of the 14s, but I think this was a 13 or a 13 and a half or something. He was real big. Because I saw him. I, I wasn't sure if that was a fish or if that was part of the stump. And as soon as it moved, I knew it was going to be a big fish because I, you know, the way he was stretched out there. But he it honestly wasn't as big as I thought it was. I thought that was good because I, I when I approached that I thought that was going to be a monster but he was good I got a 13 inch fish but not the monster that I, I thought I was about to have a you know a 16 incher or some huge but it was not the case look at all these fish down there all over the place and then they kind of disappeared right or or I didn't cast quite in the right spot there they are though that happens to me all the time. I'll I'll be like, oh, where'd the fish go? Yeah, my, my boat has drifted slightly, and so it'll put me out of out of line. But there's there he is. Ah, this is this is another <laughs> that's another catfish though. Look, <laughs> you can see me just waiting, waiting for him to get a little bit tired because this uh that line's not really <laughs> that's not catfish line. So I'm just waiting right now, getting them tired out. There he is. This is the other blue cat. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I had three catfish in with all the crappie that I kept today. <laughs> but I still have not looked at my, my boat motor. I don't know what I did. I, I moved some batteries around. Oh, look at this one. So I accidentally got too close to this fish. You see that big fish right there? When I was cruising along, I was looking in one direction, and I looked in the other, and I was like, oh, no, I'm on top of him. So I slowed down real, real quick, and I tried to do like a, that reverse cast down and drift it close enough to him, and he did not spook, so he got it. <laughs> that was a big fish. That was, I, I think this is that same stump I had just casted to. And you see he's on the other side of the boat. I had to turn off spotlight real quick because he would get real close to that trolling motor so i turned off spotlight real real quick so the trolling motor would disengage and i got him over to the other side so that my line didn't get wrapped around the trolling motor or anything but that was that same stump that i had just pulled one fish off of and i i guess another one got on top of it or was already there um when i was cruising up to it and when i looked over there i quickly slowed down and dropped a jig and got him. Cause look at that. That's another one of the 14s. He's a big one. Yep. <laughs> that 
That's a lot of big fish in one day. A lot of big fish. Now, what's crazy is, you know, I, those are big fish for me, right? Those are big fish for anybody. I, those are big crappie. But uh, I always think it's crazy that, you know, I'll do what I consider a really good day as far as catching all these, these big fish. But these tournament guys will come out here and they'll catch, you know, 14 inches. That, that would have been a small fish for a tournament fisherman. But it's wild that they can come out here and cover so much water and find huge fish so fast. That's always impressive to me. They have the, they can just clear water real, real quick. And I might could go a little quicker if uh, <laughs> if I. That's a good fish there. A good eaten size fish. If I would have just quit casting on everything I saw, but you know, that's different. Different kind of fishing when you're going off the big ones, as opposed to just trying to get the fish fry <laughs> stocked up for uh, what's what's coming. But I'm glad I caught some extra ones. I wound up have, uh, giving a few fish to a few folks. That there's a, you know everybody always wants fish, so it's always good to have some extra to you know feed as many as you can. I'd be able to invite more people. Okay, so this, no, this is not the one. So I tried for this guy right here. He didn't didn't budge. So I went down just to see if there's anything around this log. I thought there might be something hiding behind it. There wasn't, but that little thing in the bottom popped up, and he chased after it. A lot of times those logs will have fish hiding right behind them where you can't really pick them up too good with the sonar, but not that case. Well, guys, that is it for the video. Um, I I had a lot of fun out here, a lot of fun making. I know I haven't been making as many. I've been busy, um, but uh, I'm gonna try to start making some more now that. Um, well, if <laughs> if I can get my other my boat motor running, I'll be out darbone. Otherwise, I'll take the other boat out to some bigger reservoirs. But thank y'all for watching. Uh, I appreciate y'all, and I'll see y'all again soon. Bye, everybody.